All right, welcome to the stream. We're going to start in just a second. I'm here on the running community server. If you'd like to join, join my Discord. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link for my Discord is down in the description. If you want to join our community server, all you have to do is join the Discord, and then we have a check ride. Once you get past the check ride, you are a member of the server, and you can have fun with us. So, we're here in Mojave today, and we are going to be running the LOP53 local, which is a local that I haven't ran in some time. Um, so, we got a whole bunch of boxcars here. SBS, which I don't actually know where SBS is, so we're going to have to see... USA, which is yonder that way, somewhere near Cajon. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of cars over here. Going to PPG, uh, Nick, um, and that looks to be it. Oh, and Par as well. So, Par and Nick are just over here, so that'll be pretty easy. Um, I do know that we have somebody just over here running a train. Um, yeah, look at this. Dutch Pancake is running the northbound LOP-53. He's, uh, he's collecting pickups, it looks like. Oh! No, it's fine? Woo! Okay, it's good. Yep, so he is running the northbound LOP 53 local, and uh, we're going to run the southbound one. So with that said, um, let's just get started here. We won't waste any more time. Uh, we're just going to get an end-of-train device on here. All right, let's get an end-of-train device here. And let's just figure out how we're going to do this. So, first cars here are Par and Nick. Um, yeah, Par and Nick. So, we have one, two, three cars for Par, and all of those are for... Oh, no, and a couple of tankers as well for Nick. And then the rest are for Par. You're doing good. I'm doing good as well. It's raining right now, but the weather is really warm, so that's, that's a nice change of pace. So, I guess what we'll do then is we will pull the Par cars into the industry here. Um, park them. And then, I guess we can go here to Nick, drop off the boxcars and the tankers. And then we'll grab the pickups, pull them out here, connect them to those pickups, run around the train, and we'll go down towards Cajon. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's contact Otto and see if he'll be happy with us today. Uh, star 54. There we go. And we'll see if he's happy with us. Oh, look, he's actually happy with us. Chris has joined the server. This looks like something I'd have fun running. It, it is a fun local. The issue with this local is that it's on a hill. Um, and switching on a hill is not fun. Um, I want to say that most players, when they come through here for the first time, are likely to break their train apart. Um, that's Yep, look at that. I don't even have my throttle in. And I'm already moving. <laughs> I can literally just idle the train right now. And we're just going to get moving. All right. I guess this is how we're doing it. What? We're, we're not even going to idle the train. Um, look, I'm going five miles an hour already. On notch zero. That's, that's what this place is. It's awful. Let's be very careful. You know what? Dynamic brakes. Who wants to make a prediction? Will Mateo break any couplers today? Will he break his train apart today? Let's see. Can I actually do that? How about this? Let's run the slash crash command. There's an 83% chance that I will crash my vehicle today. So, um, well, that's not good. As you can see, the odds are against me today. Cancel my routing. All right, we're just going to bring the train to a stop so I can figure things out here. Whoop, there we go. All right, let's stop the train just here. And we will figure out what we're going to do here. So the first cars we're going to drop off are over here at par. Oh, I forgot. I have to be on the ground to flip switches, don't I? So, this way, and then that way. Perfect. Look at that. It's already set up and ready to go for us. Just gonna idle the power here. Let's see. I need to get that going. Check. Uh, 
Uh, listen, we're going downhill. Can you maybe move the train? That would have been helpful. All right, you know what? Let's let's relax. Let's just give the train some power here. Obviously, we're slowing down much quicker than I thought we were going to. That that gradient isn't half as dramatic as I intended it to be. And we have 606, I would assume that's feet. Hey, real quick, editing Mateo here. Y'all see that second switch there? Remember it. It'll be very important later in the video. For shadowing. Until the rear of the train gets past that switch there. Actually, you know what? We could just watch it. Uh, window? How do I open windows? What? Why is that not a thing? Why can't I open up windows? Okay, I heard a loud noise outside, and suddenly it's quiet. It's fine. Have not got there yet. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Did I? All right, back it up. I appear to have gone a little bit too far. I mean, I guess I could just leave them there. We could say that the uh, the switcher the switcher will do it. Here, let's just pull it back a little bit, because my OCD will bother me. Volcano has joined the game. Welcome in. All right, let's just chill right here. Oh, you know what's funny? It did s What? Hello? What? Why? Uh, really? Oh, crap. That's scary. I. You know what's funny is I even checked the first switch as well. See, you know what's funny? The thing said I had an 83% chance of crashing my vehicle. And it appears to, uh, to have been true. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend... That nothing ever happened. We're going to disconnect this. And we're going to open this up. It's okay. I haven't, I haven't ran this local in a while. It's alright. I'm forgetting where all the switches are. Are you good? There we go. We're saved. From the, uh, the little accident. It's okay an awful place to sh switch. There's a reason why I don't like it. I don't like it just as much as I don't like Cajon. This is like the Cajon of switching movements. We'll, we'll pretend that nothing ever happened. I just realized this car doesn't have air in it. Okay, we're fine. Back it up. Okay. Bring the train to a stop. Okay. No, wait, 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 wait. Please. Okay, there we go. It's fine. What? Why? There we go. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, right. So all of these are for Nick. What we will do... Okay, that one's just for PPG. Ah, uh, my OCD is going to bother me. So, it's okay. You know what? It's fine. Oh, hey, Volcano. Hello. What's my dog barking at? Don't you know that I'm switching on a place where derailments are very common? At least, you know, in Run 8. All right, let's leave it right here. Can you roll down just a little bit? Like, come on, we're, we're on a gradient downhill. Can, okay, thank you. Yep, just, just stay right there. Okay. Okay, look. 
Look how nice things are when it actually works. There we go. Only broke... Well, we didn't break a coupler. Um, we, we split the train in half. Alright, time to run around. Thank you. Two-man operations here. Are you one of those expediters? The, uh, the replacement for conductors. Can I open up a window now? Why can't I not open up windows? Like, what's, what's this about? Are windows broken on the SD40? Not as annoying as the stuck air brake, yeah. Ah, there's a flat spot on that SD40 right there. Listen to that. That one right there. It's got a flat spot going on. Here, let's burn the brakes. Alright, do that. There we go. And ever so carefully. Ever so carefully pull this in here. So what am I going to do? Um, we will pull those set of cars out. We'll put it with these ones. And then we'll take the Nick cars, put the tankers in one, and then the box car will go in the other. Because, uh, you know, OCD. Alright, if you can get that switch there. Picking up the cars there, uh, yes, you need to flip the switch so that I can grab the box cars there. Considering that it's more country, you know what I mean? that we're gonna close that connect all these let's be uh, a carmen here smooth as butter it, it really was smooth wasn't it i don't normally like doing switching in first person but that that's that's not too bad i heard uh by the way talking about switching i heard over on the enhancement server um they were talking about how i guess a switcher locomotive is currently being developed um i don't really know how true it is it was just a small conversation. All right, uh, are we ready to go? We're ready to go. All right, we're gonna connect it to those tankers, the uh, the outbound tankers there. Now, you know what I could do? Something I could do is I could leave these tankers here until later, and when we grab the pickups for like USA and everything, um, then we can come back and grab these. Uh, all right, um, let's see. Oh, no, I don't want to flip that. No, let's, uh, let's straighten this one up. That's the only one I have to worry about. Oh, I couldn't get my picture. Crap, slow down. Wait. There we go. Trying to get a thumbnail for the YouTube video. There we go. I do wish that we had drivable vehicles just to, like, take down the line. See, we do have, uh, like, the high rail truck, don't we? And uh, it would be kind of cool if you could just take this off of the train tracks and drive, a, drive it around. Maybe one day. Well, you know, I'm trying to do this, uh, this, this Run 8 roleplay series, which I, I'm, I'm still working on it. It's just that I'm entering this boat where I'm like, okay, where do I want to start it? Um, the first episode of any series you do, whether it's on YouTube or anything, is always the hardest. Because it's like, okay, what I'm starting in this first episode is going to determine the rest of the series. Um, and it, it's not that you can't change paths, it's just that it's harder to change paths later down the road. Judge Pancake, hello. We're just gonna put this right here and not worry about it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to go that way. 
If you've ever watched Daggerwind's survival roleplay or Scroft's The Farmhand series on Farming Simulator, it's basically like that, but in Run 8. And uh, Run 8's very limiting to what you can do, where in a game like Farming Simulator, you can literally make full-blown maps. In Run 8, I have to work with what they give me. And um, trying to plan around a very fixed environment is not easy. Um, Run 8 does allow for enough... What's the term I'm looking for? Is manipulation the right term? You can manipulate Run 8 enough that doing a roleplay series is possible. But it's very... Oh, Mateo, you moron. Why would you do that? No, 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 please. Mateo! It's okay, nobody ever saw anything. Alright, let's back this train up. It's, it's really hard to explain what the series is without really showing it, because I can be like, okay, it has all these things, but then it's like, it's 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 a little complicated. Can, can you, oh, sorry, are we connected? Mateo, you're trying to move, okay, it's fine. There you go. Oh, what? Okay, that's weird. Why did you not, okay, no sound, that's fine. Um, all right, so what are we going to do here? Tankers will go there. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll put the tankers here. Boxcar will go there. Okay. Let's be careful. Oh, I just realized that's gone. Uh, nope. I want... What do I want? I don't know what I want. Okay, it's not showing up. The power outage. The power outage causes it to stop working. Huh. Actually, that reminds me. I really hope that the power doesn't go out while I'm doing this. You'll send me some... Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll take a look. Oh, yeah, you sent me about the Amtrak. Unless you sent me another one. I don't remember seeing it yet. All right. Is that fine? That's fine. Let, let's let's just leave it here. Because OCD. What is this? Huh. Okay. That's the clock, by the way. Wait, that's the clock? That's a clock? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, hold the phone. You're telling me that that right there is a clock. <laughs> that's a clock. Okay, that is the weirdest clock I have ever seen. <laughs> Wait, so the clock had an internet failure? Is, th is, that, is that what's going on here? I'm so confused. So confused. All right, uh, well, that's not going to work now, is it? Just inch it forward a hair. Well, that's the emergency lighting. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. No, please. Okay, good. Oh, please, stop moving. <laughs> then again, the building ha literally hasn't changed since my grandmother graduated in 1968. Literally the same high school building, unchanged. You know what? I'm going to stop talking about school because I, I what was it? Like t a month ago, I went on a rant during my A-line stream. Uh, you have digital clocks. We had, did we have digital clocks? No. You know what? Even in the middle school, they didn't have digital clocks now that I think about it. They put in all these clocks because we're, they're like, we're going to make life really easy where you can see the time anywhere in the hall. Um, which, you know, and they put all these analog clocks in. I don't know. That was the last year of school that I was there, and they, they were weird. They, 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 they made some very weird rules, had some very weird ideas. Most of our clocks were the old school analog ones. The only difference between the time that my grandmother graduated and the time that I went is that in the 1970s, they added a second floor to the building. 
a ran by a server. That's why I was looking for internet. That's that's the weirdest clock system I have ever seen. That's the weirdest system I have ever seen. Your clocks at your building run by a server. I, I would hate that. I, I would hate that. You know, I, I would look at... I, I look at some of the, 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 the ways that they did things at my school and being like, you know what, they are not doing that smart. But like, a server to tell the time? <laughs> Maybe I'm too like old school or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe that just means I'm old school. Yeah, no, nah, I prefer the older clocks. Yeah. That's that's really weird. All right, let's uh, let's get the rest of the cars here, and uh, we will take off. Where does this go? So we have PPG, USA, and SS SBS. SBS. Where does SBS? SBS? PPG. Okay. Huh. And then in our living room, we have a very old analog clock. Um, it's one of those really old clocks that uses a key. Um, I have, I, I, I kind of lost track of it to, you know, keep it r winded up and everything. Um, it doesn't keep time very well. But, uh... Those clocks are kind of cool. Oh, gosh. Three years. Wait. Two years ago. Um, which, the room that I'm in used to be a storage room. And... Oh, originally it was my storage room and then my mom was like oh, space to store things and then she store all of her stuff in here and I was like you know we're doing online schooling a lot um, because this was during the time of 2021 I believe uh, yeah it was like it was late 2020 2021 and uh, we were doing some online schooling it was kind of like this 50 50 deal going on and um, I was like you know I really need my own space um, and uh, I decided to rebuild the storage room, which the thing about the storage room is the storage room has no power outlets. Um, neither does my bedroom. My bedroom and my storage room do not have, well, the new office. They don't have any power outlets. So that's fancy. I mean, this is what happens when you live in a very, 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 very old house. Um, you, you don't have power outlets. Okay, there we go. Are we good? I think we're good. All right. Onwards. All right. We're going to take off now. And we're going to go service the first industry, which it is 344. I have about maybe an hour yet until I'll have to end stream. Um... Okay. And then, yeah, you know what? No, Mateo, what are you doing? This is the first time I'm on the server in a moment, so, it, I mean, it could really be anything. Okay, I need to slow down. What is... What am I looking for? I'm looking for this one. Okay. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Um, This right here is the PPG industry, which... Cars right at the end are for PPG. Two tankers, one boxcar. All right. Um, uh, okay. Well, I guess what we could... You know what I'll do? I'm just going to put the boxcars there. It's fine. We'll put the boxcars down, uh, the boxcar and the tankers right where they are. And then we'll grab the pickups and continue on. Uh, put the timer on. There we go. Quite a day, and it's not even Friday yet. Yeah, it's true. It's Thursday. Drop off first, I'm assuming. Yes, yes, we're going to do the drop offs first. But until then. Oh, by the way, for those that are watching Contraband Police, um, I, have a, I have a game that's going to replace it when we finish it. 
Uh, in the Steam sale, I picked up a game called Eternal Threads. And uh, it was six bucks. And uh, that, that'll be the game that replaces uh, Contraband, please. So we'll be continuing our story games that we're doing. So I'm kind of excited to see that. If you guys have never watched Eternal Threads, um, I watched Tio play it. He's a Swedish Twitch streamer. And uh, there's a fire. And I guess everybody in the fire dies or something? And you come in to basically change history. <laughs> so you have to run through the fire and essentially alter people's decisions so that they all survive. So, I don't know. It'll be it'll be an interesting game. <laughs> All right, is that good? That's good. You know what? Let's let's just keep going until after the uh, MOW signs here. That, why did that scare me? Hello? Are we okay? We're okay. Wow, that was... Jeez. I'll tell you, there's some loud vehicles that go by. And it, you know what? It's perfectly fine. It's just that I have the window open, and I'm not used to... <laughs> I'm not used to hearing so much noise from outside. It's, 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 you know what, it's, it's, it's great. I, I have to say that as somebody who's been living in cold temperatures for like the last nine million months, um, I, I'm, I'm happy to see this, this, this warm weather. <laughs> oh! It's fine. We're fine. Okay. Let's uh let's get this all connected here. Connect. 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 Connect and look at this box car. Wow. I haven't seen these ones in a moment. It's uh it's one of those um auto auto automotive box cars. Is that what they call them? Why do they call them automotive? Um is it just cuz of the size? <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's that's good. Let's remove the end of train device. And this is the one we need to connect. Okay, wait, what? Why? Oh, never mind. Sorry, Mateo is moron. He's looking at the wrong one. Okay, uh, hello? Are you okay? Okay, we're good. And now we can probably open that up. Yep, there we go. And we will carry on to the next industry. Let's put an end to train device here. And now, I know where USA is. I've serviced this industry a very long time ago. The question is now, where is SBS? Um, I don't know if I've ever seen that industry. Wow. I tell you, SoCal has so many industries. Uh, SBS. SBD. Excuse me. Let me just... Uh oh. Nope, it's fine. Um, S B S. Ah, here we go. Stock building store. Oh, I know where this one is. Right, because U S A is right there. Right, U S A is right here. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know right where it is. Boom. Interesting that that track is a part of the industry. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. All right. Cool. Well, we're going to have some traveling to do, so finally we can, you know, get up to speed and have some fun. Let's get the show on the road. Oh, it's the plastic pellet hoppers. 
yes, you can see I do not have the plastic helicopters yet. That's okay. I'm, I might use some of the birthday money that I had to get some things. Plastic pillow hoppers and probably the wood chip hoppers is what I'm looking at. A lot of the industries along the A-line use that. And uh, I don't have them. Hey, I'm going the speed limit. I don't know why it's leaving. I mean, it's, 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 we take risks over here at Union Pacific. Apparently. Oh, that sounds really good, those sounds. Okay, you know what? Let me tone up auto. And, uh... Yep. We'll, we'll get some signals going. We'll get up to speed. If you want to ride along, you can ride along. Ah! What? Well, I bet I, I am at the next control point. I'm right there. I'm here at Anzel. Am I, am I not? I am. The control point is not right there. Never mind. What? Really? Okay. That's weird. So there's, there's this between me and the control point. Okay. That's weird. Listen to that. Three, eight, seven, three, seven, zero oh, that's weird. She says temperature. Um, I'm not used to that. <laughs> All right, uh, auto. I need to talk to you because there's a red signal right there, and that's bad. Oh, thanks. Wow. Actually gives me a uh, green signal. That's that's good. No arguing at all. It should, but I didn't hear it on my end. Yeah, it's weird. I don't understand why. What? What did you forget? <laughs> yeah, sorry, did you have the sound turned up? I'm so sorry. Isn't it near... It's Dennis, right? That's where we're going? I think it is. The immersion. <laughs> Sorry! Were you immersed in the, uh, in the, in the stream here? <laughs> only to... Only for me to then go to the dispatch board. Sorry. Some people don't like to open up the dispatch board. I always have a thing about opening maps whenever I'm traveling in video games. I mean, what am I going to do? Take the wrong turn somewhere? You know? Like... Last I checked... Last I checked, our train's going that way. And likely, it's only going to ever go that way. Because um, it's not like we can just turn a steering wheel and, you know, go that way. <laughs> Auto is starting to get very cranky up here. I heard you the first time. Who is that? 7310? <laughs> Another defect detector? He's going around the little diamond. Okay, how is that working? There we go. Let's see. I wonder if that defect detector will work. It's functional. That's good. The question is, is it fully functional? Does it, will it, will it tell me that uh, I'm a bad train driver and that, you know, I'm dragging equipment and I have hot axles on every single axle available? Maybe not. Now, I want to say that once we get around this bend, there should be a town. Yes, there's a town coming up. Right there. That's not the town I was thinking of. Actually, it is. Yes. 
Yay, towns, cities, people. Woo. Wow, okay. The grade suddenly changes. 1.4%. Let's get that dynamic running. Alrighty, was fun stream. I'm off to run some errands. You got a few miles before USA on your left. Thank you. Thank you for running as my conductor. Thank you for running as my conductor. Hopefully you have a uh, hopefully you have a good rest of your day. Keep your shorts on, there it is. <laughs> wow, alright. Get the break going. And I believe now we're going to start going uphill. There you go. I don't need that anymore. Look, another defect detector. Will this one work? The last two didn't tell me I was a bad driver. Okay, maybe this one will work. <gasps> wow. Wow, it actually worked. I wonder if all three of those defect detectors are connected in some way. Is that why it only responds to this one? That flat spot's really, uh, <laughs> is, uh, is, yeah, he's, Otto's still not playing nice. <laughs> Otto trolls all of us at one point or another. Okay, I'm gonna give the train some power, because we're, uh, we're starting to lose speed here. 46 and a 50, which, I mean, we could start slowing down. The, 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 the industry we want is just over there. But you know what? It's fine. Let's let's not start slowing down too early. Left. What's left? Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome in. All right, do I have space? I do have space. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. Um, we're gonna go into here. And then we'll continue out to here just to give myself some extra space. We'll pull the pickups out, put the cars in. We'll go grab these pick out, p grab these pickups put the drop-offs in, and then we're going to have to reverse all the way back to here, do a runaround operation. Uh. The, what? Oh, I was going to say, why is there a red light? Because I have to go in there. Cancel my routing. Maybe I should have brought a caboose. We could do some legit reverse operations with the caboose. Oh, be cool. Maybe I can do that next time or something. I don't really use the caboose very often. It's, it's one of those things where it's nice, especially if you're doing reverse operations. Um, you get to sit in the caboose as opposed to sitting on the side of a freight car. I do that a lot for, what is it, the A772 local over on the uh, A-line. Um, I'll use a caboose because you have to do a very long reverse operation um, from where the industries are to a little yard track. And uh, that's where I tend to use the caboose. But other than that, I don't really use it very much. All right, let me, let's bring the train to a stop. Ah, uh, you know what? No, we'll continue. Let's go. I'm going to put that there. And that timer is just going to tell me when I'm past that crossing.
Beware if you're wearing headphones. Okay. You know, I, I, I could have pulled those a lot closer, but that's okay. Because that, that just means we, we, we don't have to reverse as far. Oh, I forgot to put the timer on. Whoops, my bad. I was going to put a timer on so that I could see when the rear of the train passes this, but... My bad. Okay. And then close that. Oh, uh, auto is starting to uh, to troll again. Okay, sound. Sound exists. I wonder if I could roll the train cars down to those ones. You know what? I'm going to make a risky maneuver. I have an idea. We're going to kick these cars and see what happens. So I'm going to... I'm going to try something a little dangerous. All right, if you can get the switch for me. Um, let me close that. Let me close that. That's already closed. Okay, did I never... I never open these. Okay. I'm going to bleed these. Okay, there we go. So by doing that, I am going to start reversing this. And we're just going to see if we can kick this. Because if we can kick this, um, we might be able to get these three to connect to those box cars without really having to do much at all. Um, all right, I'm going to open that up, and we'll just see what ends up happening. For all I know, this could corrupt the train, and if it does, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to make things easier by making things harder. You're writing... I see that you're writing in chat, yes. No, you are really dumb. Why would you do that? No, you stupid. That doesn't help out, now does it? Look at Mateo trying to be all cool over here by messing up. Okay. Will you just roll now? Thanks, it does help. I, I really hope that you make it. If you don't make it, it's okay. It, it'll just make less work later. Why what? Why did I kick those? I kicked those to make my life easier. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> I I was really scared that that was going to corrupt the entire train. I did that with a huge risk. It's perfectly fine. I, it's, it's okay. Otto seems to be holding this other train hostage. Yeah, he seems to be. Oh, you know what it is? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, it's because there's another UP train going by. Otto's, Otto's holding him because that... Okay, Otto should root him through. No, he roots this guy through. He roots the intermodal. Okay, that makes sense. Look, it's the uh, it's the, the Viva La Macaroni guy from My Summer Car. <laughs> he He's working as a forklift driver now, it seems. All right, now, with that said, let's go service the last industry. These signals here uh, used to be very, very common around where I live on the CSX line. You used to see a bunch of these, and um, they got rid of them a couple of years back. And, uh, you know, this is the only place that I see them on Run 8 is right along here.
All right. We're going to find speed here. Wow. Oh, po a, pause, a plus one percent. All right. Let me uh, maybe give it a notch of power so that, you know, we don't lose all of our speed here. All right. Let's drop the drop-offs first, and then I'll grab the pickups. Himbo has exited the session. What? Streamlabs? Uh-oh. Crap. Uh oh, is uh, is is the stream still running? Okay, that's weird. I had a massive lag spike there for a second. That was weird. Can you back up, sir? I, I'm really struggling to do this. I don't know why. <gasps> Fine. You never saw that. Uh, let's pull. If we can do, um, let's, let's, uh, all right. I have an idea. Let's disconnect at this car here. Sorry, this is not... I need that. It's fine. Because I, I, I'd like to leave these cars here. We'll pull the pickups out, and then we'll put these two green box cars uh, right here. So... After we finish this, I'm going to bring those two pickups back to the rest of the train. And uh, we are going to park it. Yeah, because I'm going to have just enough time to grab these pickups. Take them back there and uh, tie the train down. So. You know, I got to say, I love these FMC boxcars. I... I... I love them. They look really nice. I enjoy uh, enjoy these ones. All right, put on the little timer here. Luckily, nothing happened, but it was a close call. Okay, do you mind, game? What? How? Why? Why is that? Okay. Bam. Those will just stay right there, and we'll put these boxcars in. Ooh, man, that was close. I'm like, my left leg hurts because the corner of the chair is stabbing into it. Perfect timing. Yeah, it really was perfect timing, wasn't it? All right, and now uh, we will turn this little consist here back to the rest of the train, and uh, I will take it later. FR and RV. I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna return these to the rest of the consist, and I'm gonna do it later just so that we have a full YouTube video. Because there's a couple other things we have to do with these cars. We still have the pickups at par to do. Um, and I, I, I'm going to have to take off. Oh, man. I'm going to have to take off in a couple minutes, so. That's why we're doing it this way.
and what we will do is uh we'll just tie the train down here for now all right and i am back i'm not live this time we're here with lop 53 and we have a couple things we gotta do um if you've been skipping around the live stream we have our pickups here we now have to return to mojave so we're gonna start off by running around the train All right, here we go. Um, I gotta say, this feels very weird because this is this video right here is a mix between a pre-recorded YouTube video and a Twitch live stream, and uh, I'm just not used to it. It feels very strange to me. But here we go. It's it's fine. Hopefully, everybody's having a good week. Let's flip this. All right, and here we go. like water. Maybe we can have... Oops. Yep, of course. I stopped too early. Oh, still topped. Still... St <laughs> English, Mateo? Still stopped too early. Alright, there we go. All right, make sure to not forget to flip switches. Now that we're on the main here, we can give the train some power and we can get up to 55 miles an hour. We're gonna have to take this train to the shop. It has a flat spot. This wheel right here, I think has a flat spot. Do you hear that? Bad mojo. And let's contact auto. So star five four. Man, I gotta put the dependent brake here. Dynamic, I mean. All right, request signal. Um, yeah, I gotta put the. I said dependent. I gotta put the dynamic brake here because we were speeding through that. Oh, look at that! He actually gives me a green signal this time.
Okay, so we are here at Ansel on the UP uh, Union Pacific Southern Pacific Palmdale cutoff. Um, and the next point here that we will get to is just here where BNSF uh, breaks off to Barstow. So what I will do is I'm going to contact Otto and I'm going to have him... I'm going to have him remove my routing just because I need to pull into PAR which is an industry and gab grab a couple pickups. So let's uh, let's have him do that. And then we can pull into par, do our thing. And then Mojave is like right there. So it's not gonna be an issue. All right, we gotta bring the train to a stop. Let's, let's just slam on the brakes. Well, maybe not slam on the brakes, but instead bring the train to a controlled stop. All right. Let's put up the, let's put the brakes here. And we'll bring a train to a stop just here. And we'll flip that switch there, go into the far left track, and then that those set of tankers on the far right is what we have to pick up. So, all right. All right, I'm going to line myself back for the main. Uh what there's a train? No, there's not. Liar, there's no train over this. Don't don't lie to me. Is it because this UP train is waiting? This one that wants to go to uh, LP, wherever that is. Come on, let me switch it, man. It's not going to let me switch it. That's unfortunate. Well, that's okay. Uh, all right. I uh, Maybe we'll have to wait for the train to go by. All right, I think we're going to have to wait for the train to go by. All right, let's jump on here and bring the train to a stop so we can grab that string of cars just there. Now, I don't think Volcano really cares about where we store the train. Um, I will double check the job board, which... All right, we're good. Um, let's double check this. We'll close that because if you don't close that, it tends to not fill the brake lines. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, let's just connect this now. Uh, open that. Partially open that up, and hopefully that will start to fill up. Oh, look at that. It's filling up. Good. Let's run down here. Make sure that all of these are filling up. They are all very slowly filling up, which is perfectly fine. Uh, that's good. Are you good? You are good. Let's put the end of train device here. And uh, there we go. All right. And now we can open this up all the way. There we go. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to route myself into Mojave now that we have everything organized. Um, we have a BNSF train that's coming off of Sanborn. So this UP train that's here is going to have to wait for some time. So for those of you that don't know how to override auto and stuff like that, you can override auto even when he's activated. So right now auto is activated. If I right click on a switch, it turns it blue. That means I can now override it. So if I right click, it'll turn the switch. Um, Actually, you know, I'll just demonstrate that here. Uh, is it this one? I believe it's this one. Yes. So you can see I'm going in here. Click. And it turns. That is without disabling auto. Um, and then I need to route myself into the yard. So I go over here. I can right click this switch. Click. And there we go. Now, one important thing to note about this system is that auto can still flip these switches. The only thing that'll stop him from flipping these two switches, despite the fact that I have them clicked, is if I go to this red signal and I right click on it. Now it's white, and essentially it's giving me a restricting signal. You can see that it's blinking there because I right clicked on it. Um, so now auto will not flip these two switches. Um, so there you go, auto lesson of the day. Let's get this show on the road and get back to the yard. Um, I already have myself lined up for a track, so we will pull into that track, go all the way to the other end, and tie the train down. And now we have quite the train here. Alright, time to be a little bit careful here. Speed's going to go down to 10 in half a mile, um, which I assume is just right there. So this is really half a mile. Wow, okay. I feel like that's a lot less, but whatever. Let me just give myself a little bit more power. And then once we enter the yard, it's going to obviously go down to the 10. Uh, so we're good there. There is that UP train waiting for us to get out of the way. 
I feel really bad for it, because look, it's gonna have to wait for this uh, this grain train. It's a it's a it's a grain train um, going to Gook, which I don't exactly know where Gook is, um, but it's have to it's gonna have to wait, uh, wasting a lot of time. And I mean, one can blame me, but you can see there's a green signal just there for that BNSF train that's somewhere yonder that way. We can't actually see it yet. Um, nope, we can't actually see it yet. So it's somewhere. All right, time to move at super slow speeds into the yard. Woo. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why Mojave Yard is my least favorite yard to switch in. Look at the gradient. 1.0. Excuse me, it's a 1.1%. Um, and that's why Mojave is terrible to switch in. Because you're literally switching on a hill with a pretty serious gradient. Um, and if you're not careful, you will break your train apart. Um, so, alright. We should go into that track just right there. And park next to that train there. So, hello. Let's see, can I honk the horn? Ooh, listen to that horn. Just noticed that train has a Southern Pacific unit. Oh, and an SD-70, nice. All right, let's 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 not stop our train here. Is, is this where I wanted to go? Oh, I wanted to go on this track. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, well, that's okay. I was hoping to go on this one, but I guess I'm going on this one. Uh, that's, 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 uh, that's fine. We should be able to fit right there, right? Right? In this whole section? We should be able to. I see the BNSF train. Here he is, just here. Wow, pretty short, actually, considering he's a grain train. Normally, when these grain trains go by, they're massive. Um, but he, he's running pretty short today. Four lead units and uh, two rear DPUs there. So there we go. And uh, he's he's on his way. Ah, he's, he's definitely on his way. Okay, so we're, once we're past the switch here, I'm going to put myself on a timer. Um, just by clicking this on my rail driver. So essentially, when this gets to zero, and I know I explain this in most episodes, but when this gets to zero, for those that aren't haven't watched Run 8 or aren't sure what this is, when that reaches zero, we will be past that switch there. So really all this does is it counts from a start position to the end of your train. So when the end of the train reaches that point that you started the timer on, um, it, it'll bling, and then you know that you're past a signal. 3.0. No defects. Repeat. No defects. Total axle. 2. 7. 2. Train speed. 3. 7. M. B. H. Temperature. 7. 9. Degrees. Out. All right. BNSF defect detector has uh, been talking to that BNSF grain train that went by or is about to go by. I don't know if we'll watch. You know what? We'll watch it. How about we watch the grain train? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to park it right here. That, that that BNSF grain train is about to pass by, and I want to see it.
And there he goes. All right, so one thing we got to make sure we do is flip this switch back. Uh, because if we don't flip this back, um, you'll notice that this is purple here. Here, actually, you know what? I'm just... Oh, look at that. Auto has... Auto has taken priority of that. Okay, that's really weird. Um, all right. Because if we don't flip this back... Hello? Okay, there we go. If we don't flip this back, auto will never route trains through here. Um, so that's why it's very important to make sure that you turn your switches back to where they are normally should be. Um, or back to the main, because then the AI will not be able to go through them. And uh, now Otto has given him a green light to UPSP Palmdale cutoff. And uh, we can see just there. And this guy is moving. All right, well, with that said, that's going to do it for this episode of Run 8. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, join my Discord if you want to join the server. Just join my Discord, go through the check ride, and then you'll be a member of the server and you can have fun with us. Have a good day. Please write, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace!